I'm Julie Beagle, and I am currently teaching at the University of Dayton since 2014, and I am using Sakai ever since. I am teaching chemistry, specifically general chemistry and organic chemistry. I used to teach in person, and once the pandemic hit, I converted all my classes to um, online classes, and I've been teaching that way ever since. I am using a peer teaching experience and um, to put that in an online format, um, we're using the Commons tool for the students to post videos as they solve problems for the other students to, to watch these and learn from. And also I look at these as the instructor to identify if any students are um, struggling or are they on the right track, uh, kind of measure their progress. Every student does two of these videos per semester. I mean, peer teaching sh shown that um, it's very effective uh, learning because, uh, you know, a lot of people say you don't know it until you teach it. In the online environment, um, the, the video that they're recording, it's, um, it's either records them as they solve the problem, or a lot of times they would have the, the problem pre-solved on a piece of paper, and then would th they would just record explaining how they did it, why they did it, and why they did it that way. So here's our question in the first part for part A that we have to do is find the concentration of NOBR after 22 seconds. And to do this, we can use the equation for second order reactions to find this. So that's one. So they don't only have the one or two examples that I pre-recorded as part of the the, the module, the learning module, but they also have these extra problems where they can go back and they hear and saw the, the solutions too. And a lot of times when I watch it, I leave a comment too. Um, you know, especially if the, the video is very, very good, then I leave a comment saying, wow, this was really great. Please watch this for the rest of the class. Um, or if, if I find something that it's, that it's really, really needs to be addressed, that I address it in the comments for the other students also to see that, hey, this is what this person did, but we need to be careful because this and this needs to be done instead. Some of them do um, screen recording and they write on their, their screen. Uh, which are usually the best quality ones. Some of them using their cell phones and trying to hold with one hand while they're writing with the other. Um, typically the ones that are using their cell phones are the ones that they do, uh, they work out the problem and then just do an explanation, which, which, which results in a better quality video. Um, and then um, they upload these videos to YouTube, which they have an instruction. So they have the YouTube account through the university and they, they, I provide them with a set of instructions to make sure that these videos are not posted publicly. So it's just for the, for the class. And then they link this, this YouTube video into the comments tool. And I, I typically ask them to show the, the low picture. Um, so it's not just a link there. Um, and then they post it that way. You know, as you teach, start start out, start it simple. Uh, don't put too much on the students and on yourself, and and then just grow from there. See how it works, and then tweak it. Mm -hmm.